hey y'all come do some press-ons with me so i door dashed me some press-ons last night because i was supposed to do a promo video and my nails looked a mess so i'm supposed to go get my nails done tomorrow but the promo video is due to that baby and so we gotta do something about it all right so we're gonna go ahead and put these press-ons on now i'm gonna say i'm gonna stop listening to y'all because y'all told me i could soak these nails off with some dawn dish soap and some cooking oil or some olive oil or some something baby it ain't even work but anyway let's talk about these nails Deep. These nails are bad, okay? And somebody commented that on my video. I don't need you to tell me that. I see that. I look at these every day, okay? But it was the holiday season, and I was busy. I was busy. I'm sorry that you weren't busy, but I was busy. I'm going to get them done when I get them done. But for now, we're going to press on. So these are the nails, y'all. They look pretty. I normally don't do long nails, but they really didn't have any that was cute on the site. And the ones they did have was most likely sold out so these are them i think it comes with the glue oh i need to go get my little um i don't even know where it's at my little nail foul kit this is the body wash i ordered st ives oatmeal and shea butter baby i used to scrub my face with that st ives um Pour scrubbing stuff with all them nuts and shells in it. Mm -mm -mm. Do not over exfoliate. But anyway, this says made with 100% natural oatmeal and shea butter, plant based, no animal derived ingredients. It was only $5 and some change. It was the cheapest body wash they had. Now, I think for something like this, what people don't know is you're supposed to use an antibacterial soap and then maybe finish with a body wash. So I use this as like a finish. Um, but yeah. So. Let me go find my little nail foul kit. I got the water getting hot. The water gets pretty hot in my house. So we're going to put some Dawn in there. And I need to go watch a video because they say put vegetable oil too. I don't know. But I'm going to watch a video. We're going to come back and do it, y'all. All right, y'all. I found the nail foul kit. This didn't come from Dollar 25 Century Store. This came from Family Dollar. But Dollar 25 Century Store got them too. And then I got our Dawn. So I got Dawn Platinum, baby. This should work. And just in case it don't, y'all know I've been uh, using this on everything. The power wash, we might put a little bit of that in there too. I don't know. But I used to bite my nails off. Now I can't bite them off. You know, my teeth aren't as strong as they used to be. I'm scared, baby. I cracked my side tooth on a crab leg one time. And, and I just don't have a bed with. So, um, somebody say use a credit card, baby. That hurt. We finna see if the dawn works. Okay, y'all. So, I did say we need some oil. This is the only kind I got. I don't have any olive oil or the vegetable oil finna do what it do. Okay? Love y'all. Hold on. All right, y'all. We got our hot water. Now we're gonna go ahead and add our ingredients. All right. So we got our cooking oil. I don't have any olive oil. I just told y'all that. We got some Dawn Platinum and some Dawn Power Wash. All right, both of them. And then we got our little nail manicure kit and our press-ons. And I think the glue is in here. So we're gonna add some Dawn. We're gonna add some oil. Just in case, just in case, because I don't know, I don't know. We're going to mix it, okay? All right, now, I'm going to go ahead and roll my sleeves up. Come on now, the, wa the water getting cold. Is that a bird? I thought the birds moved down south. What's happening? Am I down south? No, they're supposed to go to Florida. I mean, I'm down south, but they're supposed to go. Anyway. All right. Now. Y'all think I need some more Dawn? I don't know. We're going to do that. Now, we're going to let them sit. It says 1040 on the um, stove clock. So, we're going to let them sit to 1045. This water hot. Ooh. This is hot, okay? Should have got a book or something. No, I said I was making a thing um, for 2024 where I am not grocery shopping as much as I used to um, grocery shop. Because I feel like I don't waste food, but I feel like it is stuff that goes bad or stuff that's, you know, I buy it and I don't use it like I'm supposed to. So I got some chicken, some ground beef, shrimp, 
Um, I think we might have some pork chops and some fish in there too. I'm about to do a series where I make food with whatever is in here. It might not even go together, but we finna be fed because I don't plan on going to a grocery store again unless it's for absolute essentials. Um, and when I say essentials, juice is essential, okay? They need some juice. So we might have to go get some juice or something like that, or I might have to get some butter. But as far as like buying meat, veggies, carbs, I'm finna use what's in that um, them cabinets in that refrigerator because it's ridiculous. I go to the grocery store. I'm starting to think I got a little problem. Honestly, really and truly, I am. So, we at 10.42, y'all. We got three more minutes. The water getting a little less hot. And I really don't even feel like doing this, but I just could not do that promo video with my nails looking like this. That was just, uh. So, I don't know, y'all. Today, my plan is, I got to tell y'all a secret. I got to tell y'all a secret. Y'all think I'm so responsible. I did not take down the Christmas tree. It's still up. But you know what? I ain't worried about it because I manifest all great things in my life, all right? I cook the New Year's dinner. I don't normally do that. I don't normally do that. So we started somewhere. Now, I normally do take that Christmas tree down because of Kaya's birthday. But it's like we had an extra living room this year. So the tree didn't really impact her birthday stuff. So, But I did take the wreath down. We took the inflatables down. Put up the little Merry Christmas mat. I really need some bins for the Christmas stuff. Um, I might need to go to Target and get some. I hope they don't sell. But, yeah, the Christmas tree's still up. So I got to take that down. Um, I cleaned up New Year's Eve pretty good, like a deep clean. So I don't got a lot of cleaning to do. I do need to wash some clothes. Um, I want to cook today because, like I said, I don't want to order out and I don't want to go to the grocery store. So I need to go ahead and pull some out the freezer. And then I want to go ahead and get started on this YouTube series, y'all, where I talk about the book writing process and the content creation process and all that type of stuff. Um, now that I got my camera, I feel like I can do it now. I also feel like I need an iPad or a new computer, but I'm not going to let that hold me back. I got the camera now, and I'm going to figure out how to make it work with what I already have until I get a new one. I don't really know what I'm doing with the camera, y'all, but it can't be that hard. Like, I can research. I can learn. That's one thing I do. I look on YouTube. I look on Google, TikTok, Instagram, baby. I go to the manufacturer website. I be figuring out what I need to figure out in order to get it done. Let me see. We at 10.43. These don't feel like they're getting looser. Uh, they really don't. And it's like I really don't feel like going, leaving the house, going to a nail shop to soak them off. Because I always take my nails off by myself, baby. I told you I, just, I used to bite them off. Um, but I've been traumatized ever since I cracked my tooth on that cr um, crab leg. I don't be wanting to bite stuff no more. Which I probably should have never been doing that in the first place. But I'm crazy a little bit, y'all. It be so hard to eat crab legs now without um, biting them, too. I just be trying to use my fingers to break them. And I know they make crab crackers, but I ain't never been a crab cracker type of girl. 10.44, y'all. Now, somebody said at least five minutes. These things been over on here for at least a good month. They should be falling off. That's one thing I can say. None of my nails broke, but I also get short nails so they don't break like that. Short nails rarely ever break. Every time I get long nails, I feel like I end up breaking them. Now, this little place I went to, Ombre Nail Bar at Ballantyne, I didn't love it. And it might have been what I chose, but the little bubbles they put on my nails was ugly, and they charged me $20 for that. And then the nail shape, like, it just wasn't hitting like I needed it to hit. I never really had a nail tech because I don't keep regular appointments, but I tell myself that's something I'm going to start doing in 2024 since I'm a creator. You know, my nails need to look nice, so... I found this girl actually on my TikTok in Charlotte, and she's very young, but she does very well, and I kind of want to support her. Her booking site wasn't working the way it needed to, so I did send her a message, so I'm going to see if she reaches back out to me, but if y'all know some good nail techs at reasonable prices, I'm not paying $250 for nails, baby. I'm just not, okay? Um, then tag them or let me know. I also want... um. I don't be wanting to go to two different places because I be wanting the colors to match and stuff. Sometimes I'm not just to get white on my toes type of girl. I get colors. So it's like, dang, I got to get my nails at one place and my toes at another place and the um, colors might not match. So if y'all know some nail techs, you know, not just nail salons where they doing 300 people a day, some nail techs that might also do toes, tag them for me. Y'all, it is 10.46. We let it go for an extra minute. These are not popping off, but let's see. Okay, y'all. So after five minutes, y'all, 
y'all said they was just gonna pop off that one popping but that one was kind of already popping oh they lifting a little i suppose what i'm supposed to do i'm supposed to like run a car under them or something that'd be hurting i don't want to do that let me find a card okay i found this frankie's card it's a little thinner than a normal credit card y'all they're not ready what i do wrong i even put the power wash in there these things have been on for a month maybe longer than that my goodness i feel like y'all lied to me i'm very disappointed my goodness okay y'all so i cut some of them down and now i'm about to soak them for a little bit longer i put some more oil and some more dawn in them i'm about to soak this hand for another five minutes is it because i use cooking oil like what is the problem what is the problem these things I got one of these little stick things. Let's. It hurt. I'm about to go live on TikTok, y'all. So after I go live, I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna give y'all a um a final, and we are gonna put the press ons on. Well, I might put the press ons on on live, but I'm gonna show y'all what they look like when we do. Y'all, this is the longest process I have ever done in my life. I'm so mad. I could have went and got these nails soaked off at the um, nail salon, but I thought I was saving time by doing it myself. The Dawn and the oil did not work for me, okay? It didn't even work with the power wash. Anyway, stop, CJ. So anyway, I got the little press-ons. I was using some of them to try to get the... I don't even want to talk about it. I ended up biting them off, but they off, all right? They off. All right. So let's see. My hands clean. I just washed them. They probably a little ashy. We got the little nail foul. So we're going to foul these nails. And I really wish I could have just got my nails done today. But we must do what we do. I had went live taking them off, y'all. It was stressful. I done made a whole crab boil. Well, I ain't had no crab. But a whole egg boil, sausage boil, veggie sausage, and everything. Lord. All right. I'm going to do this one. Not emidectric. Emidectric. How you say it? I don't work well with my left hand. Brush the dust off. All right. Now. Yeah. We're going to see which nails you need. Y'all, they got a hole of nail foul in here. Okay, with the little cuticle push it back there. I guess I'm supposed to uh, push my cuticles back. Let me open this one up. Why well, so hard to get into? We must improvise. There we go. My bad, y'all. I was concentrating. So push your cuticles back and then get a piece of paper towel and wipe it with some alcohol. 
and clear all the dust and everything off of it. I'm acting like I'm a professional uh, press-on applier, baby. I done put press-ons on about three times in my whole life. Press-ons are a thing now, though. I know girls that don't even be going to the nail shop no more. It's just straight for the press-ons. But I feel like... I don't know. They're not, like, strong enough for me or something. Like, I can't get with it. I was trying to um, see if it had numbers, y'all, to see exactly which ones were the same. But I guess we're just going to have to eyeball it. Now, I feel like this biggest nail is too big for me. Or should I just foul it a little bit? Yeah, I'm going to use the second to biggest one. Now, I heard somebody say you should foul the inside of the nail, too. So, we're going to do that. Blow that dust off. And we just need these to stay on long enough for the promo, y'all. So, I heard you should put the nail glue on your nail. And on a fake nail. I meant to foul the edges. This one didn't really need to be fouled though. But we're gonna let it dry for a minute. Hey y'all. My mom is undoing her nails. And then we're gonna press it and hold it. Press, press, press. Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry, but I don't have my glasses, y'all. Is that is that water, milk, or nails? All right, press it for a little bit, let it dry. And now we're just gonna do the same thing for all of them. All right, y'all. So I got one hand in. We're gonna do the other one. Does it like natural nails? I still got a fat of tips. But they look natural and they're really sturdy. So let's see. Okay, y'all, so I'm done. That's how they came out looking. And I think they real cute. So they kind of plain, but I like the length. I think I'm going to get my nails this length when I go get them done. And they on there real good. The glue worked real good. So it was a bomb 10 out of 10. After that, CJ and Rakai wanted to go to Target. So we dropped them off and we stopped at the gas station so I could get some gas. And I seen these freeze-dried candies for $10. I, I don't like freeze-dried candy. Y'all be on them hard, though. Anyway, after that, baby, I seen this cheesecake. And I think I'm a Hispanic at heart because I always want to try these Hispanic snacks. Have y'all ever tried this? Is it good? And then I seen this one down here. It was like some type of chocolate cherry cake, but I went ahead and put it back. And guess what? Y'all gonna be so proud of me because I ain't get ten dollars worth of gas. Guess how much I got? Forty dollars. Okay. After that, we went to Smoothie King. Just I went in there and got it for me because I just can't stop eating these bowls. I said I was gonna make some at home. Then we pulled back up to Target so we can pick Rakai and CJ up. Y'all think they in there? No, they know walk across the street and went to Chick Fil A so that CJ can get a sandwich. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so after that we went home so i could eat my bowl and this time i got the dragon fruit bowl i don't like it as much as the acai bowl but it was still like a cool eight out of ten bye y'all